Hidden away in dark town alleys and neglected riverside slums, Boridpur in Bangladesh plays host to two large brothels in which hundreds of sex workers are trying to generate income with little or no access to their basic human rights. Many are bonded. They have no freedom. They are forced to see customers with no sight of their earnings and they have to take steroids to stay beautiful. For them. ভবিষ্যতে আপনারা যদি একটা চাকরি দেন কি কিছু একটা কর্ম দেন তাহলে আমরা করব হামিদা হ্যাজ বিন লিভিং হিয়ার ফর সেভেন ইয়ার্স উইথ এন ইনকাম অফ ওয়ান থাউজেন্ড টাকা পার ডে হ্যার বডি হ্যাজ চেঞ্জড ইন মেনি ওয়েজ সিন শি বিগান হার কেরিয়ার বিফোর হেটিং পিউবিটি বাট শি ইজ ভেরি প্রাউড when she says she's 35 years old. She only knows how to write her name, but she doesn't know how to read it. I was born in the country and I was born in the country. I was born in the country and I was born in the country. I was born in the country and I was born in the country. I was born in the country. Now she lives and works in basic conditions in a room of 6 meters squared for which she has to pay 100 taka daily. Bhor bela uthi uthe gosol tosol kori gosol tosol kore nasta masta khai ghumai gomer theke uthi 10 tar dike. Pi kele du eta lok jon pali pai na pali ranna manna kore khe deshi upodik sanda lagli. Customer de mal jakhon mon Sex workers in Bangladesh are generally excluded from mainstream society without clean water, sanitation or access to health services and education. There are currently 800 sex workers in Foridpur, predominantly in the town brothel which houses 600 sex workers and their children. Hamida is one of the lucky ones. She's been able to work independently for the past seven years. Many of the women here remain in a virtual prison after being sold by a member of their family into the hands of a Shardani, who then becomes bonded and enslaved until she has repaid her debts. They become their daughters. Even though no one knows the real age of the women here, Gulapi is younger than Hamida. She has been working in the brothel since 2006. She says she is 26 years old. I was born in my Young girls are powerless in the brothels and often experience violence and abuse from their clients and shardanis and every part of their lives are controlled, including their freedom of speech to talk about one topic, steroids. In an impoverished country like Bangladesh, being big is being beautiful and paradoxically a sign of good health. ActionAid has discovered that women are taking steroids in tablets or injection on a regular basis, often referring to them as vitamins. Before, when they entered in the brothel, they don't know that it's the harmful drugs, but they take it as a vitamin tablet, but when they are uh, practiced, they are addicted. In a desperate situation to pay off their debt and make more money, many sex workers take orodexin or dexamethasone a drug originally used to fatten cows in Bangladesh. I don't eat food. 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 I don't eat food.
Around 70% of women working in the town brothel are taking this highly addictive and dangerous drug which causes diabetes, high blood pressure, skin rashes, headaches and can eventually cause kidney failure and even death. But the main reason the sex workers start to take it is because they're brainwashed to believe that it's good for them. And it looks like this is true. With steep competition in the brothel, sex workers should offer what the clients want. Customer person to go to the bottom of 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 the Sadly for Hamida and other older sex workers, this is no longer the case. Shurilna, come here, sir. Come here. If you don't have a dish, a shuinia dish, I give a shuin come here. Malay is not that. I get the guy. I don't move. I don't move. That's lamb. That's why I move. That's why I move. That's lamb. Happy fair. That's lamb. Move. That's lamb. Go ahead. The guy. But I don't move. That's lamb. I'm only move. That's lamb. For bonded sex workers, their drug taking remains a dark secret, a topic which cannot be discussed on camera, as they are told to lie and they are controlled through the fear of punishment from their shardanis. Our boss came to us, our teacher came to us, and he came to us and he চাইদে বারানের জন্য এখানে পরিবেশের জন্য ওই ট্যাবলেট খেতে আমাকে মোটা বানানোর জন্য কখনোই আমার জানা ছিল না যে আমার আমারগুলো কোনো সমস্যা হবে সেটা কি Oradexan is readily available in most pharmacies and shops around the brothels without prescription the cost of one tablet is less than one taka they spend only 15 taka for one month's usage it's a small price to pay to be beautiful. But it's their health which pays the highest price. Faced with the situation of declining health and increased addiction, ActionAid have formed a self-help group together with other NGOs, sex workers and some of the Shardanis. They meet on a regular basis to discuss the issues affecting this vulnerable group. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. আমরা বন্ধ করার জন্য বারবার মিটিং ডাকছি মিটিং এ হলো বারবার বলছি যে লো এগুলা তোমরা খায় না তারপর অনেক বার মিটিং করছি আর কি তো মিটিং ও এই হয় না তারপর আমরা ঘরে ঘরে যাইয়া বুঝাইছি যে টুডে গলাপি ভিজিটস হামিদাস হাউস টু গিভ হার সাম অ্যাডভাইস করার পরে ভালো ডাক্তার দেখে আমি ঔষধ খেয়েছি শারীরিক অবস্থা খারাপ হওয়ার পরে আর ঔষধগুলো খাওয়ার পরে আমি এখন আর খাই না देखे लिखे खेले तुम सुस्थ हो जाए as a result of action aid intervention, some women have been able to reduce their use of steroids. Some have even been able to quit. মানে ডেক্সাম মেশিন আগে খুব অনেক প্রসেস চলতো এখন বর্তমানে এত একটা চলে না আর না চলার কারণটা হচ্ছে কারণ বলতে আমি বোঝাবো যে আসলে এটা হচ্ছে মানুষ বুঝতে পারছে যে ডেক্সাম মেশিন একটা ক্ষতিকারক ওষুধ The devastating consequences of taking oradexin on a daily basis can be seen in all corners of the brothel Even with increased awareness about the dangers of taking the drug 
Many sex workers are trapped in a vicious cycle of addiction. In the brothels, there's a sense of desperation. But the sex workers also have dreams of a brighter future.